Hello, this is my second take of doing this because I've just been rabbiting on about uh, Comicsgate to myself for the last eight minutes. I thought eight minutes is an intro that's too long. So this is the, the shorter version. The Ripperverse is a crowdfunded um, organization run by Eric July, uh, and he is somebody who's got fed up. He's fed up, he is, with uh, the industry, the comic book industry, which has all gone too woke for him. Uh, so he decided, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a living out of making my own comics and distributing and publishing and writing uh, my own comics um, in between uh, being in a band. Um, so he has many titles. I've seen him on various things where, you know, the... The Tom Tab, as we used to call it, uh, used to identify him as a, you know a co-founder, or he's a YouTuber, or he's a he's a many many things. Uh, one thing you shouldn't do, because I made a mistake of disagreeing with something he said, very respectfully disagreed with him. He called me a fool and blocked me on Twitter. So um, I, I cry every night about that. Uh, so please, if you ever do encounter Eric July, just say nice things about him, or or, <laughs> or he'll kick your head in. Right. So Ripperverse um, uh, have brought out a new comic it's called yara y-a-i-r-e now i'm about to go through the trailer for it this might be quite a long video this and i'm going to break down my thoughts the thing is that um you gotta bear in mind that i am i've got a tv production background i've made documentaries i've employed actors i've filmed uh reenactments um people you know had, had to put costume design makeup the whole thing filming on location i've done reenacted re uh yakuza torture sequences i've done uh, in the deserts i've filmed uh the um Ishmaeli assassins uh you know riding across the desert on horses fighting um i've filmed nazis plotting um occult like rituals in the basements of castles in germany i've done i've done loads of stuff of i know about what you have to who who you need uh and how much things cost to complete pre-production production and post-production uh and so i i find it interesting that when um a the comic book world which i know nothing about uh when they then come into my world which is uh the video production world and the film production if you want uh if you want to be a bit fancy about it it's not it's all video um so let's have a look at what uh, Eric July has done by coming into my world. And uh, I, I have seen this before, so I know what's coming up. But I think it'd be quite interesting just to share with you my thoughts on the Yara official live action trailer. So the first thing I noticed is you've got this Marvel-like, it's almost a duplicate of what Marvel do, the flipping pages of Marvel in the logo. Is that they've done it like that. Look, see that? The thing I thought immediately when I watched this is cliches. There's lots of cliches, there's lots of tropes that we've all seen before, and I just felt that these Soska sisters were um, devoid of original ideas. It, uh, towards the end of it, I thought, they're just copying stuff they've seen. They're, re they're having fun recreating films that they've seen in the past. Hold on, I just realised there's a person there. I never spotted that before. Did you see that? I thought this was just an establishing shot, but there's actually somebody jumping. See the little dot? I hadn't noticed that before. Oh, what a bad job. You should have you should have stuck more with a shot. And we should have seen a, a mid-shot or a close-up of this person falling through the sky. But there's a little dot there. Somebody's jumping off that building. I hadn't even noticed before. Oh, it's the dead body that lands on the car. Oh my god, what a fuck up that is. This is a, a non a, a rubbish shot. It's a fuller shot. I would have put I would have put a shot through a window of the body passing through the frame. Something like that. Somebody working at a desk, even though that's a cliche too. Hey, did you see that? Hmm? Be Parkinson next. Bet you it won't. How much? What? How much do you bet it won't? Fiver? Yeah, all right. Come on, Parky. Don't be silly, Parky. Come on, Parky. Don't be stupid, man. Come on, lad. Jump. So here's our extras. Um, there's a body flying through the sky, and they're not... I mean, <laughs> that, I've just realized that's what that shot was. And they're not all that bothered, are they? And also, they're kind of looking up the height. They're all looking at different heights. He's looking kind of... This guy here is looking low level. 
This is what the director should be looking at. The, the directors sit and look at monitors, right? They can see this shot while they're on location. This guy's filming something that's just happening uh, on the roof of the nearby cafe. This person here is looking at the top of a skyscraper. This camera phone is pointing, I don't know what that's pointing at. They're all looking at different heights. So I'm not really sure why the directors didn't say, oh, mate, could you just look, can everyone look like higher up, right at the top of the building? It's just a bit weird. Train. Oh, what's, what's that there? What's that blue thing there? Is that a lens flare? Unfortunately for me. So, hold on. For me. He's already caused, right, so this previous shot here, you can see that the, you can see his shadow appearing on the roof of the vehicle. He's got his arms in the air and jumping out of the way. Look, he's 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 already jumping out of the way. The shadows. Me. This guy is uh, maybe a meter, a meter and a half away. They're all jumping out of the way, and then the next shot. No, nope, he's not jumping out of the way anymore, and the guy's gone higher up in the sky. So now we're into now we've seen this in Iron Man. This setup, somebody making a speech. We've seen it loads and loads and loads. Cameras tracking round. Um, uh, and of course, you have. We uh, feel this is probably uh, this is inside City Hall. You can see the square in the background there. So this is nighttime. Is it the same day or the day before? Going to be an but it's the same location because we can see it out outside the window. Uh, he's got weird hair, isn't he? Undeniable asset here at Projexus. Won't you please join me in welcoming her to our team? So, this is Iron Man, isn't it? It's just this. It's just. See, this is the thing when I saw it, I just thought, I've seen all these setups before. I am Iron Man. What is this big podcast? Who puts these? These mic booms at, on podiums? I struggle to curse now. Will be the triumphant echoes. I have to put subtitles on. I can't understand the freaking word. It's such a bad producer decision to have the actor not speak, not talk in a way that's intelligible. <laughs> this microphone here is not doing much. <laughs> is it, oh, I see. It's a, is it a, is it a ribbon mic? A ribbon mic? Who? What journalist puts ribbon mics? Like that's that's like a podcasting mic. It's weird to have that at a press conference. And there's two microphones here pointing down at her, her hand. I don't know. I mean, from a production design point of view, I, I, somebody's... What's this one pointing at? I mean, this is a podcasting mic. What's this microphone pointing at? That's a light. This one's a light, I think. I mean, it's a mic. I don't know. It's just all about... I, I mean, I did notice the mics, and I thought, oh, mm, time though we may not be around to see them to their fullest fruition but we struggle to create now the triumphant echo from the past triumphant echo from the past this is naff writing man so she's now come out nobody's looking at the fact there's a woman with blue eyes glowing in the background all these people have not looked to see who's this hottie who's kind of appeared this is the uh, sound department packing up and going home because they've had enough uh, this guy here is not going up to her and saying, who the hell do you think you are? Get back. He has the smallest megaphone in the history of megaphones. <laughs> it's like from the toy shop. <laughs> Poor guy. And still, no, you know, this... This um, do not cross line ends here. So guys, just go around the edge here. You can come, you can come in through this way because this yellow tape just ends there. It's, these are such simple things to fix. I don't know. They should have realized that she needs to put her head right back like that so that there's a line going from her mouth right down into her stomach. This looks like uh, the line is just, it doesn't look right to me. It looks like it's coming from the bottom of her jaw. I mean, am I wrong that? I might be wrong there, but I don't think so. And what is this beam of light? Is this the coming of Jesus? And where's she going? Oh, she's got little jetpacks in her knuckles, look. Chilled. Chilled? Oh. 
like, what's this? So, so this is. She, this only works if she's looking straight to camera. She has to talk straight to camera here. She's talking off camera, isn't she? Uh, but because the camera is now the view of the person on the ground, which which would be a higher angle than that, to be honest. Yeah, she's talking to somebody off camera. But for some reason, she and now she's punching below the camera. But but now we're seeing the camera topple over on its side, as if it was the POV of the girl on the ground. It just doesn't make uh, you know visual sense. We're back outside. She's getting up, and she's has she been hit again? Has she just spat blood out? What did you say? You took it like a chump. You took that like a chump. Were you trying to like knock me out? Were you trying to knock me out? What? What do you think she was trying to do? No. If it's meant to be a death blow. So this this is a superhero that kills people. This conversation's banal, by the way. These are two insipid dummies. There's not there's no smart conversation out of me. This is this script's terrible. This is a fail, I'm afraid. You got, I mean, I, I, I thought these people knew about making films. But the, the script, the words are terrible and the way this is directed, there's so many mistakes. Um, jump to the credits here. Because uh, I actually went through this with a bit of a fine tooth comb. You've got here, this is the evidence you need for these are people who are, we want to be making movies. Uh and the big giveaway is this year, assistant to Mr. July. They think they're Hollywood superstars. In terms of what a trailer is supposed to do, this fails across the board. It's not coherent at all. If, if if the idea is that you already need to know, you already need to know what the story is. This is what we complain about Marvel doing all the time and what Hollywood doing all the time is like. Just tell us stories and tell them well. I think I've said enough about that. Uh, that is uh, that. Um, I just wanted to really share my views on, you know, there's a lot of applause and praise going on about this little film. And it's, it's, it's good that people are making films. But if you are going to pre present yourself to the world as like, look how pro we are, look how talented we are, look how skilled we are, by, by producing this kind of stuff, Eric July's got proper money to make these things. And it's just a shame that he's, he's hiring people who don't really know what they're doing. And you're kind of letting everybody down. You're letting down their hair, the makeup, everything. Oh, by the way, just on, just finally on, on that, um, this is the costume this is the flimsiest looking costume I've ever seen. This is not armor, if that's what it's supposed to be. This is not armor. Look at it, it's all creased and it's just, just like a, a, a soft, cheap fabric. Oh, look, she's actually muscly. Look at that. It's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. And the glowing eyes thing. They're. I mean, good luck to you. You know, I, 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 I don't. I, I, I know I'm, I'm absolutely crapping on it, but, um, yeah, it's not a great film, guys, and I'm sorry to say, but you will do well. I think they've already reached a million. I'll probably get to two, three million. I don't know, uh, but for me, I and everyone, everyone knows all the detract, detractors and everyone who's giving the money. These are donations of support. Nobody knows wh whether this comic's going to be any good or not. Uh, it, but for them, it's kind of like socking it to Marvel and to the, the, the comic world and to the mainstream. Um, so they give their money to Eric uh, to, to to show that, to try and show Marvel, we'll, we'll beat you at your own game or whatever it is they're trying to do. But this is why, and of course, the reason it's, it's doing so well is because you've got the Soska sisters, fans are going to come in, Ned Rotic, all, all the different um, fellowship members all the different groups are all going to be chucking money because they've been told this is the alternative to the trash that we're not liking um and uh it, the thing is that if you are trying to set yourself up as a reasonable alternative you should be creating something that the people who are making the stuff you don't like aren't pissing themselves laughing at 
Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, because if you are proposing that this stuff is good enough, then uh, you make yourself just look like a fool. And I understand the, yeah, that doesn't matter. We've just got to show them. Well, just keep giving your money to Eric July because it's all going to one person. I mean, he's hiring people and people are getting jobs and whatnot, but it's all going. But it's all going to him. And it's and because we're seeing that it's all it's becoming about egos as well because we're seeing um, them doing credit roles like that. To, you know, assistant to Mister July. You're not Brad Pitt, Eric. And you, you know, this these these egos that are being adopted and like oh, walking on the set and I feel so powerful and impressive. You're not. You're, you, it's it's money that's been given to you, lent to you, um, and you've got to do. You've got to make better decisions. You've got to hire people who know what they're doing, and the Soska sisters sisters will make you a, um, a, a, a you know, a, they'll make you something. Uh, but it seems to be all they're doing is just copying other people's ideas and putting it out, uh, out there. You know, it's quite good fun, isn't it, to replicate other people's ideas? That's that's good. It's like locations revisited. Um, and the way you do it is you hire people who know what you're doing. You hire proper sound recorders. You get graphics departments. Let's just throw money at these departments, and they will they will do do the produce the goods for you. You get people who know how to use cameras and use lights. You know, throw money at them. They'll do all the technicians will make it for you. And all you've got to do is copy other people's ideas. Oh, let's have a guy crash onto the roof of a car. Oh yeah, I've never seen that before. Let's do that. Let's have lasers coming out of their eyes. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I've never seen that before. Um, let's have a beam of light come out of their mouth. Yeah, but let's make sure it pops up into the sky rather than at the person she's fighting because then we'd have to create explosions of buildings and stuff and that'd be quite expensive. Whereas getting a getting a globe and having the light shooting up, that's that's cheap. Anyone can do that. We'll just use a <laughs> just use Google Earth. Uh all right, I'm done talking about it. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Uh I'm sorry if I've been too negative. I don't mean to be. Uh, but I just I'm passionate about this kind of stuff uh, and I just want to share it with you make sure you uh, do leave a comment down below I'm always interested don't be rude or it will just get won't get past the filter uh, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this pop culture is the direction I'm going in and I'm looking forward to it. take care and I hope I'll see you again soon bye I am going to make a post about this I did not tell them that I'm going to do this I know the Saskas are watching this but I got it I got to say this these fools made a yaira a goddamn woman bro an old ass white woman 